Welcome everyone. The first step to connect PS4 controller to your Steam Deck is you're going to click on the Steam button here and then we're going to select the settings. We're going to select Bluetooth and we're just going to leave our Steam Deck on the Bluetooth page. We now need to get the PS4 into pairing mode. So we're going to press and hold the PlayStation and share button together until you see this really rapid blinking, as you can see right here. And so once we have this extremely fast blinking on the Steam Deck, you should see the wireless controller. So just tap on this and then the pairing should be successful. If you have issues with pairing, restart the Steam Deck, turn off and back on the uh, PS4 controller, try again. If you are still having issues, what I would recommend is potentially connecting the PS4 controller with the wire. You will need to get an adapter though, which converts USB-C, which you connect to the Steam Deck, into USB-A, and then you just connect your PlayStation cable, one end into the USB-A, the other end into the PS4 controller, and then you'll be able to play with the wire. It also should automatically pair with the Steam Deck and you don't even need to touch Bluetooth because that is what it will do on the PS3. Do note with some games that you may open up, you may need to change the control scheme, otherwise the game may not work. On top of this, if you connect to a controller while you are inside of a game, you will need to restart the game in order for the controller to work as well. So if you can only use the Steam gamepad, but you can't use the PS4, then you just need to restart the game and then it should work. So you can see, not working here, not working. So we're just going to exit the game like this, go back in. If this still doesn't work, you may need to change the controller layout and remap the buttons. Uh, so you can either use a PS4 buttons or you can remap to a stock gamepad and typically the stock gamepad will work if the PS buttons aren't. So let's have a look now. There we go. You can now see the game is working. Because I did map to a stock gamepad, it's showing the Xbox buttons instead of the PlayStation one. So that is just something that uh, you may not like. That's, uh, that is just the one downside here. So let's actually get into a game and in the game here you can see analog sticks are working you know everything is working as you would expect if you click on the PlayStation button you go to the game controller settings controller settings again you can here edit the layout to your heart's consent or even change the template if you would like to as well but I would not recommend changing the template if the game is working because it may be a pain to you know, do things again. All right, so you can see everything working as expected. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.